What is going on everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here and yesterday night the 2019 Pro Bowl rosters were announced and for the first time in what seems like a long time everybody that really did uh, deserve to go to the Pro Bowl really did go to the Pro Bowl however that still did leave a lot of snubs for the Pro Bowl whether that be because there really is just too much talent at that position in the conference or because they were just overall forgotten so ladies and gentlemen today I'm gonna rank up the top five biggest Pro Bowl 2019 snubs number five Christian McCaffrey Christian McCaffrey was one of those running backs that really saved my fantasy football season from being completely terrible to actually pretty all right Christian McCaffrey the running back for the Carolina Panthers has really been the bell cow of that offense has really been everything that Carolina you know goes through this season Cam Newton has kind of had a decline year this year not one of his most proudest years um, in Carolina so what a lot of the offense went through was the run game and Christian McCaffrey was a big part of Carolina's success now the part of the reason I think he didn't make it to the Pro Bowl was because of these stacked running backs that the NFC already has. The three running backs that did make the Pro Bowl for the NFC were Todd Gurley, who obviously he should, Ezekiel Elliott, obviously, and I really think that third spot is up for grabs between uh, the guy that ended up making it was Saquon Barkley and Christian McCaffrey and another guy we are going to talk about uh, later on in this video. But um, I would have gave Christian McCaffrey the nod over Saquon Barkley. Um, Saquon Barkley did have an impressive rookie season, but Christian McCaffrey did impress me just a little bit more, and he definitely got snubbed out of the 2019 Pro Bowl. Number four, Leighton Vander Esch. Leighton Vander Esch had one hell of a year for the Dallas Cowboys, really stepping in for the absence of of Sean Lee. Sean Lee's injury um, kept him on the shelf and he has not came back in because of how impressive uh, Leighton Van Der Esch has played. Now you do a story on uh, Philip Lindsay, Lindsley who uh, didn't get a scholarship offer from a D1 school or something like that. Ended up breaking Colorado's record and stuff and then he got, got went undrafted and blah blah blah. I know Leighton Van Der Esch didn't go undrafted, but the kid came from Riggins, Idaho, which is just right down the way from where I'm from, playing eight-man football. That's 1A Division II football for Salmon River, where he was a quarterback and a linebacker. And he was a stud at both. He made all-conference all four years in high school, and he did not get a scholarship either. He went on as a preferred walk-on to Boise State University, where he dominated, and he played well, and he dominates in the NFL and he's playing well in the NFL as well obviously up for defensive rookie of the year against another person that is also going to be on this list later on but I think Leighton Van Der Esch definitely deserved a Pro Bowl nod and I was shocked that he didn't get one number three Darius Leonard I was so surprised that Darius Leonard did not make it uh, to the Pro Bowl this year in 2019. This young rookie has had one hell of a year. I thought for sure he was going to be a shoe, and he currently leads the league in tackles, and he leads the league in tackles by about 15 more than the next leading tackler. And he's really been the missing piece of this Colts defense that they have needed for a long, long time. This Indianapolis Colts defense has struggled over the years to stop teams and to really uh, keep their team in games because their offense would have to score 30 40 points in order to keep up with teams but he has definitely had um a impact on this indianapolis colts team to uh, make their defense semi good pretty good i would also say and i think this kid is going to have a very very successful career um as his career develops and unfortunately he didn't make the play the pro bowl in 2019 which i think might just be the biggest defensive snub um of the year number two Alvin Kamara now I am legitimately upset and pissed off that Alvin Kamara didn't go to the Pro Bowl uh, I drafted this guy in the first round of my fantasy drafts in both of my leagues the kid is an all-out stud he does it in the passing game he does it in the run game L rarely does this guy have bad games and I thought 
for a fact that he might have been the first running back to be named to the Pro Bowl. However, I forgot that Ezekiel Elliott and Todd Gurley were obvious studs. We're going to get the nod over Alvin Kamara. That's just how it is. They've had a better season thus far. Um, and they're more pure runners than Alvin Kamara. Alvin Kamara kind of gets it done more in the passing game as well as the run game. Uh, which I think he's a better receiving back than both Todd Gurley and um, Ezekiel Elliott. And I also think he had a better year than Saquon Barkley. And I would 100% have gave an Alvin Kamara the nod over... Um, the nod over Saquon Barkley, and I also would have gave him the nod over Christian McCaffrey, a guy we talked about earlier, but those two, uh, two dominant NFC South running backs who definitely deserve to be in the Pro Bowl, but Alvin Kamara definitely a little bit more than Christian McCaffrey, and I think a lot more than Saquon Barkley. Barkley has had a good year for a rookie. He's young. That young man's going to make a lot of Pro Bowls. Give it to the guy that actually deserves it in Alvin Kamara. Now, before I get into number one, I'm going to give out some honorable mentions because I know if I don't, some people are going to get mad. Andrew Luck, he's had a good year. I think he should have made the Pro Bowl. Odell Beckham Jr., obviously consistently good um, at the wide receiver position. Um, Jalen Smith, another Cowboys linebacker, the Cowboys linebacking core, has really tore it up this season. Uh, TJ Watt, TJ Watt's also had a terrific season for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, Laramie Tunsil, a guy that I kind of debated on putting in the um, top five. He's had one hell of a year as an offensive lineman for the Miami Dolphins. Uh, Calais Campbell and Josh Lambeau for my Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, it's crazy to see Jason Myers got in, especially from a Jags fan perspective, to you know knowing what he had done for Jacksonville, which wasn't much, to a Pro Bowl kicker, which is insane. So those were my honorable mentions. If you have any more mentions... Leave them in the comment section down below. And coming in at number one in the biggest Pro Bowl snub, Juju Smith-Schuster. I'm not 100% sure. I didn't look at stats really before I made this video. But I'm about pretty sure Juju has more receiving yards than Antonio Brown does. And Antonio Brown is in the Pro Bowl. Juju Smith-Schuster had... A 97-yard touchdown this year. He's such an X-factor and is arguably one of the top five best wide receivers in the league. Now, I believe the wide receivers were Antonio Brown, Tyreek Hill, and I can't think... Oh, Keenan Allen. Um, I would have gave Juju Smith the nod out of Keenan Allen and Tyreek Hill. I think that... Um, I would have given him the nod over Antonio Brown, too, because I think he has more receiving yards. But this kid straight balled out this year. I don't know how on earth he didn't make it to the Pro Bowl. This kid was one of the most impressive players of all 2019. And it is a damn shame that kid didn't get named to the Pro Bowl because he absolutely deserves it. And out of every name I have said so far, he deserves it the most. And that was my top five biggest Pro Bowl snubs of 2019. What did you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to check the links down below as well. Don't forget to like me on Facebook, at Trey Talks. Follow me on Twitter, at Trevon Pixley. And follow me on Instagram, at Trayvon Pixley. Also, if you're feeling oh so generous, you can go ahead and donate on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash Trey Talks. Also, if you haven't yet, click that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified. Every single time I drop a new video, I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Them's just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great day.